Say, oh, Nana, what's my name? Oh, Nana, what's my name? Hey, 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 what are you, what are you, what? Oh, Nana, what's my name? Oh, Nana, what's my name? Oh, Nana, what's my name? What's my name? What's my name? Be right down, mother! Anyway, uh, uh, a little excited there. I apologize for that. Been cooped up too long, doing sleep studies and stuff. Saying I got sleep apnea, broken no I don't know what's going on. Anyway, uh, this is videos because July, January is like the dead month for boxing. You know, I sit around and I'm like, I can't believe there's only like one big fight in in January. You know, then that's the uh, Bradley Alexander fight. Or is it the Nanito Denaire? No, that one's February 19th. See? One fight. So I was looking, I was combing, and I looked in the super featherweight division, 130 pound guys, and I saw a WBA fight is going to be happening between Takashi Yumiura and Takashi Miura, I think, oh, yeah, anyway, and it's for the uh, Takashi's WBA belt, <laughs> which one, yeah, I want you to look it up, anyway, uh, so this is happening January 31st. It's right around the corner, and uh, you know, for obviously, I'm going to break down the fighters and then going to give my prediction because there's and you guys know I don't like to do fights like five months out in advance or three months out in advance. I wait until it gets about that month month time. So Friday, I'll probably be doing a video on you know some February 26th fight, perhaps you know stuff like that. So, let's let's go over it. We'll start out with uh, Takashi Uchiyama, who is the WBA champion. This is his third defense of the title. He's 16-0 and with 13 knockouts. He hasn't had a lot of experience. He's 31, but he's only got uh, 96 rounds of experience in. So, it's, uh, you know, he's a champ, though, right? He's 5'7", man. He's got a 71 and a half inch reach. He's 130 pounds, man. That's that's crazy. But you look at video of him and stuff like that. Maybe in the, watch the Salgado fight, some of those, and you'll see he's a pretty thick dude. You know, he has very good power. It's cumulative power, not so much one punch, but he'll come at you with the nice uh, jab and one twos. He works the body, body and head well with the combos. Straightforward kind of fighter. Uh, he has good movement, a nice movement. And he does that by using his knees. And what I mean by that is he doesn't bend at the waist, which is bad. He uses the knees so he can dip down and get around. And uh, that works for him. The one drawback that he does have is he tends to drop his uh, right whenever he throws his left, you know, and obviously the left when he throws his right. And when he backs up, he does drop both of his hands. Another bad thing that he does is he bounces them up and down like this. And you can watch that. And you can time that. So he can be timed. He does have a good left hook. He can counter you with that. He's very aggressive and throws with a lot of power and bad intentions. Uh, not a lot of, as I said, not a lot of rounds. But he carries his power late in the fights that he has. 14 of his 16 fights have been against fighters with winning records. He's had 9 title fights. 3 of them for the WBA title or defending the WBA title. So he has fought quality opposition when he goes in there. And I mentioned the Salgado as one of the guys that, that he knocked out. He knocked him out in the 12th round. So he's got four knockouts, seventh rounds or later. So looking at that, you really like everything that he has in this fight. Going over to Takashi Miura, who is 20-1 uh, and one with two draws with uh, 16 knockouts. So... A, f a little more rounds. He's got like 112 rounds. So he's got a little more roundage, and he's not near as old. But he's a southpaw, so that's going to pose a little bit of a problem. He's uh, five foot seven, so it's not like uh, Uchiyama's going to have a big uh, you know, advantage on him in height, or maybe even reach. But it really didn't list his reach. But this is what I want to look at. Although he's had more fights than him, seven more fights, you have to look at the quality of the opponents, okay? Thir uh, 13 of the fighters that he's fought 
Ten of them have had losing records. Two of them were their debut fights, and one of them was at 500. So, and he won all those. Yeah. So he's 13-0 and against fighters with losing records or their debuts, basically. You know, because after he fought the 500 dude, the guy, that guy had a losing record. Okay? So he's really good at beating up bums. But when he moves over to the, the fighters with the winning records, the 10 fights that he's had against fighters with winning records, he's 7-1-2 with only 4 knockouts. So his knockouts drop dramatically. And in one of those wins that he didn't get the knock, knockout in, uh, we're talking split decisions. So when he steps up in competition, his difference isn't that much. Uh, all of it, there's not much film on this man at all. If you find any, please send me some. I would love it. But checking it out, he's got good power against the bad fighters and not so good power against the guys that have winning records. And when you see a fighter like that, you start thinking, that's a fighter that built his record up. I'm not going to hate on him. You know, he's ranked 12th in the world, so it's not like he's a total bum. I go by box rec. I don't know who, who you guys go by, but I go by box rec because they rate everybody. They don't give a crap who you are or what division you fight in. So, looking at that, obviously, I'm going to predict this is going to be his second loss. <laughs> so Takashi Uchiyama is going to win this fight. The, the, the better of the two Takashis, I don't know. U doesn't come before M, ever. No U of M. But you're going with that. And I might, I, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to throw out for a knockout. And I'm going to call a knockout in about the eighth round. I think we're going to see that uh, the Miura is uh, hopelessly outclassed. And he's going to get hammered to the earth. Yeah, I don't even care if I'm wrong. That's, that's how it is. It's January, man. January sucks for boxing. It's horrible. At least February, March, and you know the, the the fights are already forming and starting. So, thank you. I hope this uh, tides you over just a little bit, just a skosh. And then we'll uh, get back to some more fights here in the next coming weeks. We'll get them up and running. All right. Well, hey, it's a big regu. I'm out. Oh, and if you want, you can even comment, rate, or subscribe. All right. Yeah, you can go right there and find me on there.